Hello everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday again. Um, I hope you guys have had a good week. I'm just looking at my camera. Let's see. I think it's okay. I always feel like I have to tweak it. Hope you guys have had a good week. Here we are, May 20th. My gosh, where does the time go? Um, anyways, we are going to do some summer projects today using Sunny Splash. Um, I thought this stamp set was called Summer Splash until about, I don't know, four hours ago. <laughs> so you'll see that I may have called it Summer Splash in multiple areas, but you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The bathing suit set. It's so stinking cute. Um, I actually worked on these projects all week. I was having a little mojo problem. Um, Usually I have this stuff done ahead of time, but I did not this week. But I am really happy with what I came up with, and I think you guys will like it too. I didn't find very many projects online using this. I don't know about you. Have you guys used Pinterest lately? When I go to Pinterest and I search, I used to go and I would search a stamp name, and you would get all these examples, samples using that stamp name. Now I get nothing, like literally nothing. Are you guys having that problem with Pinterest? Has anybody noticed that? I don't know what it is. It It's like not helpful at all anymore, Pinterest, which is disappointing. But anyways, all right, I see you guys getting on here. Good. I'm going to jump in because I really need to do something at three o'clock. So I'm going to try to be done by then. Let me open this up and see you guys. Hello, everybody. Thank you for already sharing. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. I'm going to just run through a couple things and then I'm going to show you a gift that I got. Oh, I got some cute cards this week. Look at this one. This is from Luann. Isn't it cute? Luann, did you know that this is what I was doing, um, this week with, um, with Facebook Friday? She wrote a really funny message, by the way. I loved the funny part. I'm on board. But she also said, um, I knew I had to have a stamp set. Island Living makes swimwear our summer wardrobe. I love that. I want I want to have swimsuit be my summer wardrobe. Well, <laughs> you know, I want to be in the pool all summer. Maybe not walk around in my bathing suit all the time. But anyways, very cute. Thank you. Um, this one is from Chris. Chris always sends me beautiful cards. Um, and Chris, I have a question. You guys won't be able to see it, but the whole card is sparkly. Like, the whole thing is sparkly. Now, Chris, did you take Wink of Stella and just wink of Stella the whole thing because it is spectacular. I know you guys cannot see the shimmer and shine, but it is shimmery and shiny. She used that new deckled edge dye. It looks like, is that what it's called? Deckled edge? It looks like torn paper on the sides. Very cute. Thank you, Chris, very much. And then I got a special one in the mail, and this is from Shelly Gardner, our um, founder, co-founder, CEO. Is she still CEO? Anyway, she's the one that started stamping up. Um, she sent me this beautiful card. It was a congratulations card um, for hitting another milestone, another sales milestone. So thank you, Shelly. It's beautiful. It's always exciting when you see uh, stamping up in the um, return address. You know, it's exciting. Okay, so that is that. Um, I want to remind you of a couple of things. How do I want to do this? Let's see. I think I'll show you this, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, I haven't sent it out this week yet, but if you spend $50 with me online, I will send you this for free. It's 12 different video tutorials by 12 different designers featuring flowering fields, um, suite of products in the spring catalog. And my project this month is a little, it's a little worse for wear. It was squished in the cabinet. Some of the flowers are coming out. But anyway, that's what mine is this month. But there are 11 others. Um, I will set this in my computer, send it out this afternoon. I sent it out, oh, I don't know, maybe last Friday, and I haven't sent it out since then. So if you've placed your order since then, I will send it to you. Um, you can also get this in my PDF store for $15, if you're interested. Uh, link to my PDF store is up at the top of my blog, under the Shop tab. Um, okay, Paper Pumpkin. You know what? I think I'll turn, I'll turn the... I will turn the camera around because I think that's going to be the best way to show you this. And then I've got something really fun to show you. Okay, so let me turn you guys around. Hello, hello, everybody. Good to see you guys. Very
very good to see all of you. Okay, so let's talk paper pumpkin. Now my fan is on, it's that time of year where I have to use the fan, so let's see if it makes it do that. You guys tell me. Um, oh, Peggy, you're so sweet, thank you. So I got my paper pumpkins this week and this is the golden ticket paper pumpkin. I'm only opening one. The rest of them are y'all's if you want them. Um, I did not get a, a golden ticket. Wah, wah. <laughs> um, but I was going to show you guys what it looks like. Really cute, fonty stamp set. And the spot is basic gray, which is a good one to have. And then the cards are all the in color, the new in colors. So let's take a look. I do have a few extras for those of you that need them. Please let me know. I always order a few extras in case because every month I hear from somebody who says, I forgot to change my credit card or my credit card didn't go through and I didn't get it. So I always have a few extras in case that happens. Just reach out and let me know. Beautifully lined envelopes. So they're all cards, lots of little pieces. Oh, and they're like watercolored pieces. Really pretty, ooh, wow. That's really pretty, like ombre. Um, these look like pockets or something. Let's see, let's let them all fall out and see. Oh, there's like the words and some more words. Really pretty, wow, really, really pretty. Layering, looks like watercoloring. Where are the directions? Let's see what it says. Ugh, I should be better prepared than this. Um, looks like two, four, six, eight, 10 cards, two of each color. And they're, what are those little pockety things? I can't tell. Right there, what is that? They all have it, so it's something I'm missing and I haven't read the instructions. Oh, it goes on the inside. Oh, it's like a gift card holder, is that what it is? Inside the card? I am so bad at reading directions. I'm too, like, I don't want to take time to read the directions. Are any of you like that? I know there's different kinds of people. Some will read the directions three times before they start. And then there's the rest of us who are like a bull in a china shop and just start barreling through. Um, where did that little pocket thing go? I've lost it now, right here. So it looks like if you want, you can put these on the inside. Has anybody made them yet? It's a gift card holder. How cute is that? Oh, very cute. Okay, so 10 of them. And then it can be a gift card holder or it cannot, you know, like if you don't want it to be. So anyway, I have a few of those if you need them. I have, I'm not opening them. I'm just gonna, you know, give them to you sealed. And if you win the golden ticket, it's yours. <laughs> don't worry. It's yours. All right, so I still have some of last month's also. Is that last month's, right? April, change is beautiful, I have those. And then I also have discounted, 20 bucks each, the January kit and the February kit. All right, so you guys let me know. I gotta clean out my paper pumpkin shelf. It's full and I'm gonna have to not get any more. <laughs> Nobody wants that to happen. Okay, so that is that. Um, let me see. Let me bring this over here so I can see it better. Oh, Florida, I'm jealous of you guys in Florida. Okay, what else did I need to show you? I guess I'll show you this and then we'll get started. So I mentioned to you guys yesterday on Facebook that this week was supposed to be the 2022 incentive trip and it was an eastern caribbean cruise and it actually had been the previous years and because of covid it was bumped to this year well then they completely scratched it um which was to me very disappointing but i get it there were people i guess who weren't ready from other countries couldn't travel blah blah, blah all that so stampin up said okay we're just going to cancel it and we're going to send you guys some amazing gifts and they really did so i want to show you what i got um, we got a big payout check also um, to take our family somewhere, but we got this gift as well. One thing that was in the box that I don't have is this beautiful robe, like a um, like a spa robe, which was gorgeous. Um, you know when you stay at like a hotel or you go to a spa and they give you that really nice robe? It was that, so it's 
awesome. And then, and then this little gift box, super cute little card. Um, congratulations, incentive trip achievers. We hope you enjoy your cash out. Looking forward to see you virtually soon. So all this week we've had virtual things that you can join in on. Um, a Capri Blue Volcano candle. These beautiful coffee mugs that are beautiful. I say stamping up on them. My pen, we always get a pen, which I love getting. And then this was what I was the most excited about. Let's, let me open it and show you. I thought that, wow, stamping up some AirPods, but not just any old AirPods. Hold on. Well, some stamping up AirPods. Look at that. How fun, right? So I was really excited. That was a very generous gift and uh, unexpected too. I was not expecting that, um, which was really nice. So you guys can probably tell by my voice, I'm very disappointed <laughs> we didn't go on the trip. However, we've gotten used to all of that the last two years, haven't we? It's the way things go. So who knows? And, and now our next trip next summer was supposed to be a Baltic Sea. And one of the stops was in Russia. So <laughs> that's been changed, which is fine. It's still gonna be great to a Norwegian fjord cruise, which is really cool. Fjord, Nor Norway, I'll take it, yeah. So I'm excited about that. We find out today what the next year's trip, 2024, will be. So I'll let you guys know. We're, we're all excited. I'm ready to be traveling again. I want to see my Stampin' Up! friends. It's been really hard. Okay, so um, a couple more things. Let me just tell you real quick, and then we'll get started. Um, if you want next month's Paper Pumpkin, make sure you subscribe. Um, I probably won't get very many extras next month because um, the summer is just crazy. Um, the subscription period for that is open until the 10th of June. I always forget. Um, the starter kit special is amazing right now. Um, you For $99, you always get an um, amazing deal. You get $125 in product um, of your choice, whatever you want, free shipping. Then in May, you're also going to get this in-color grid pack. And I, I ordered one for myself so you guys could see it. It's really pretty got all the colors. Um, you're going to get a pack of eight and a half by 11 in color cardstock, in color ink pads, and the in color DSP. So I think they said it's about a $66 value. So for $99, you're getting, what is that? Six, seven, eight, almost $200 worth of product, $125 of which you choose yourself. And then you get to be a demonstrator and get a discount which is the best part, and you get to be part of my team. So my team gets my PDFs for free. We have monthly meetings, monthly swaps, monthly creative uh, challenges. Um, we have all kinds of things, free training. So if you're interested in any of that, if you just wanna join and you'll be your one and only customer, that's totally fine too. We all started that way. Um, and there's no problem um, with that. So I always get emails that say, I'm probably just gonna buy stuff for myself and I'm like okay that's totally fine we get it majority of demonstrators do that and that it's stamping up is totally fine with that and I will never pressure you to do anything with your demonstratorship that you other than what you want to do with it um so anyway if you're interested in that let me know if you have questions the link is at the top of my blog it says join click on it and you'll get all the details and the link is there all right let me turn the fan down so today we are doing Sunny Splash. Oh, door prize, door prize, door prize. Last week's winner is Louise Quills. Louise, did I say it right? I don't know. Louise, I have your mailing address. Congratulations. Thank you for um, sharing the video last week. I greatly appreciate that. Um, this week I have another bundle, Cheerful Basket, and I've been working on Cheerful Basket projects coming up for... Well, I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know soon. I think it's going to be Club Create for... July. Um, it's so cute. But anyways, if you would like to win the cheerful basket bundle, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook or YouTube comment that you shared, and I will enter you to win. Okay, that is that we're gonna get started. Um, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. I always pick 
a stamp set or a bundle, and I designed three projects with it. And it's kind of like my card class. If you like the projects, you get them for free with an order. And you can order anything you want, as long as it's a $35 minimum, and it used the host code, and you put your order in by Monday at midnight, I will send you the make and takes for free next week. And this is kind of what they look like. You will need the stamp sets. And today I'm actually using multiple stamp sets. So if you don't have a certain stamp set, you can always use what you, what you, what a, you know, sub something else that you have. Um, but I don't send any pre-stamped images that's against policy. I will do some die cutting and punching and all that for you. Um, scoring, you'll get whatever ribbon, you know, we use embellishment, whatever. Um, but you'll need to do your own stamping. Okay. So orders got orders gotta orders gotta be in. <laughs> That's what I said. Orders need to be in by Monday at midnight. I cut them Tuesday, shipped them Wednesday. This week I actually shipped them Tuesday afternoon. So those of you um, who got them will get them a day earlier. All right. So if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, you guys checked. Is it up? Um, under the last photo, there's another little icon um, where you can get this PDF for free. It has the stuff I just told you, host code, deadline, minimum um, amount, link to order. Again, order anything you want. But it also has today's projects, the specifics, the measurements, and the supply list. Okay, I think we are ready. Thank you for sharing. I do appreciate it. Good, Christine, thank you for checking. Okay, so did you did you guys see my card yesterday? Um, I told you I really had some trouble with my mojo this last week. Um, I'm super busy, so I'm not ahead. I'm kind of, you know, kind of doing things in order in which they need to be done. And so I hadn't really planned these, but I, I did some searching online and I searched vintage bathing suits or vintage beach signs. And I got some inspiration from that. Um, this was a vintage beach poster that I saw um, that kind of inspired me. Looks like maybe, is it crooked or is it just my head that's crooked? <laughs> but anyway, I used that waves of the ocean there um, with it. And I thought those colors kind of looked good together. The pumpkin pie, uh, mango, starry sky, Bermuda Bay, bright and sunny. Kind of like California, right? Looks like California. Okay. Well, I am going to show you, let's show you the first card. The first card, I really, one thing I do when I'm trying to design sometimes is I'll go through all my stamps and see what coordinates, right? What, what could go with the stamp set. Um, and I found a lot of things that coordinate with the stamp set. We have a lot of summer beach type things. And of course, Terry, I saw, are you here? I think I saw you here. I'm going to use a rays of light background stamp. Terry and I, um, she said I was the only stamp set. She thinks that we both got the same, um, <laughs> which I find funny. Um, but um, anyway, I thought, well, hello, it's perfect for this. So we're going to do this first. We're going to stamp it in, let me get my paper over here. We're going to stamp it in Daffodil Delight on basic white. And I'm using my Stamparatus because it's just way, there's Terry, hi Terry. It's just way easier to use a background stamp on your Stamparatus than try to do it on, you know, with a block like that because you really have a hard time getting equal pressure. So I like to put my paper there and I'm using half a sheet of cardstock. I always like to go bigger than what I need to give myself enough you know, wiggle room. So if it's crooked or whatever, I can trim off the edges. Um, I'm gonna ink it in Daffodil Delight. And another reason I like the Stamparatus for background stamps is because you really can't see what you're doing and it's a really big surface. So if you pick up your stamp and you've missed an area, you can go back and just lay it down and push it. You can ink it again if you maybe didn't get enough ink or if your ink pad was kind of low on ink. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Love it. All right, now I need to clean this and take it off. This is gonna make my hands messy every time I do this because we're gonna use it again in a little while. But I'll put that over there. 
So we'll trim it down to four by five and a fourth, which is just like a quarter inch smaller than our card front. And I have a bonus project for you guys on Monday that I think you're gonna love. And it uses this stamp as well. All right, so four by five and a fourth. There we go. All right. Now, you know, I need, I need a bigger desk. I never know where, I have stuff everywhere and I don't have enough room. I'm glad you like this card, thank you. Gail, thank you. It is fun, hi Janie, how are you? All right, now, let's put it on a white card base, but I'm gonna put it so that my son is down here at the bottom because we're gonna kind of make that our focal point, okay? Um, where are all my pieces? I have ahead of time cut out the palm tree and I cut it out of both parakeet party, although I think maybe this is granny apple green. Oh, I cut off the wrong one. Did you see that? Did you guys say, wait a minute? Okay, that's all right. Let's grab the die. Hold on. I was supposed to cut off the other one. Hold please. Let me grab it. Here it is. Okay, let me grab some paper. Let's use parakeet party for sure this time. I think that was Granny Apple, and I meant to use Parakeet Party. Okay, let's do all the die cutting first, then. So, pretend I didn't do that, and I'll show you what I meant to do. Let's put that on here. You know, while we're here, let's do this also. This die right here is from the Give It A Whirl dies. And I thought it kind of looked like a sun. Haven't used it before. You know, I use the Give It A World Eyes like every day. But I haven't used that one. And so when I cut it out, I found that the center actually comes out. It's two pieces. So let's get these up. So, oh, see that? See how they come apart? So we're going to cut it in white also and so we'll use the outline the outside edge of the daffodil delight piece and the inside or the inside circle for our sentiment all right so then so you can get rid of that and that or use it for something else okay now back to where i was let's take this off so what you want to do is on your soft suede um, palm tree, cut off the branches like that, like almost all of them, because you need to leave that to put the glue on. And then over here, just cut off the, the trunk, all right? And then get your glue. adhere that there. So now you have like the correct colors, All right? Like that. You can line it up to make it look exactly like it's supposed to look. All right, so we've got that. Then um, the sentiment, I have all my stamps in a separate place because I'm mixing them up. I'm using them on all three projects, kind of inner, they're inner, inner, what am I trying to say? You know, they're all used sporadically through all the projects. All right, wishing you were here. I thought that was a fun sentiment in soft suede. And then I had pulled out another stamp set called Ocean Front. I mean, hello, totally perfect. And we're gonna use just those little sandy dots to put, um, you know, like some sand on our little island. I tried the island in crumb cake and it didn't look right because it, you know, it's kind of dull with our bright colors. So I thought let's do white and we'll add the little sandy 
little dots around the edge, okay? Okay, so now we'll start right here with this piece first. We'll put that on here like that. Oh, Joyce, you had storms and heavy rain. Now you're, oh, I hate that when the dogs act like that. I love storms, but my dogs do not love storms and that is stressful. Sorry to hear that. All right, so I'm gonna put a dimensional up there at the top like that and then put glue down here so that it's attached to the little island. Um, and then we haven't even stamped our bathing suit yet, but we'll get there. We will get there. Let's put, actually, hold on just one second. I gotta show you this. Remember this stuff? It came out two years ago for with a Halloween suite, and I don't think I've used it since, but it is so beautiful. So I pulled it out, and I thought it kind of looked, you know, like netting, like ocean netting. So pull it apart, and then just put it right there. And then just to adhere it, I'm gonna put my dimensionals on top of it. We're, we're gonna use those dimensionals for these other pieces. So we'll put that there. And then you're gonna need many dimensionals for the outline of the sun. I can hear a car right outside my window. I don't know who it is. Oops, go right there. And right there, little mini dimensionals. And we'll put them right there. So very cute. Okay, now for the bathing suit. The star of the show, we haven't even gotten to it. And did I throw my white cardstock away? Nope, it's right here. I went round and round and round trying to decide what colors to use for my bathing suit. You have no idea how many, whoops, wrong color, <laughs> how many colors I stamped this in. For all three of the projects, I really struggled because I just loved it in every color. But I decided for this one to give it a little pop off the page, I used polished pink, which decidedly has become my, just my very favorite color. I mean, there, there's not even anything close. Hold on, I'm looking for my snips. Here they are. I just love it. You know, Melon Mambo has forever been my favorite color, but polished pink, it's, I love it. I'm going to be devastated when it leaves. We have a little bit less than a year left with polished pink. All right, so the other, the other thing I want to tell you guys is that there are no dyes for this stamp set. This stamp set really needed dies, and I don't know why we don't have them, but they didn't ask my opinion when they were designing, so I don't know. <laughs> They're easy enough to cut out, no problem, and I'm not going to make you fussy cut on all three projects, only two out of the three, but yeah, you're going to have to fussy cut. I mean, you just are going to have to. It's really easy. Um, <laughs> it is a cute bathing suit, isn't it? hot pink bathing suit. All right, so then that's all of our stamped images. Let me pull our little netting out a little bit more because we can't really see it. Maybe I should have made it a little bit longer. But I'm gonna add, we need a few more embellishments because you know what? It's not bright and busy enough. So let's add a parakeet party twine bow. And we'll use a mini glue dot for that. Put that right there, kind of at the bottom, well, middle of the tree. And then pull in a couple of these guys. These are our parakeet party um, dots. They're on the in color, uh, you know, the in color dots. I love dots. I wanna use dots on every project. And then there it is. So cute. Now, that sentiment may not be that use, useful. Wishing you were here. So if that isn't something you'll use, I think this would make a great birthday card, a um, like retirement card, happy retirement. You know, like I think there could be a lot of um, reasons to use this card. Okay, that is card number one.
Let me move all of this and we'll get started on card number two. Now, card number two, do I need any of this? I do not think so. Card number two's inspiration came from a really cool picture that I found when I was searching vintage bathing suits. Why do I have stays on over here? Am I using stays on? Yes, nope, yes, yes, later. Okay, over there. I don't know where that came from. Um, <laughs> I found a picture of um, a woman had taken old vintage bathing suits and framed them and hung them on a wall. I, I think it was up the stairs, you know, like up her stairs, and it was so cute. So I was like, okay, let's do that. Let's make a little gallery wall of cute bathing suits. So no fussy cutting. We're gonna stamp them directly on the stitched rectangles, okay? And this was another one I really struggled with the colors, deciding on what colors to use. Boy, I really had a hard time. Okay, now here it is, oh God. <laughs> that mask I found like it had fallen back earlier today and I thought, oh my God, I'm so glad I saw that because if I hadn't and then I went to make the mask and it wasn't there to use the mask, that would be, I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd have to pull out a different mask, but this mask is perfect because it's a grid geometric. Now I'm gonna, I've got a piece of basic white that's bigger than I need. I'm gonna tape it down. And I'm gonna use this. This is one of our new artistic, let's see if I can remember, artistic mix. Is that what it's called? That's a weird name. Hold on, let me double check. Is that so weird? Artistic mix masks. Hmm, I don't like that name. All right, now I didn't use the grid paper side because I thought it was too busy, but I wanna make sure my grid is straight. That's important because these grid lines It'll be obvious if they're not straight. All right, so I'm using some post-it tape to hold it down, and we're gonna use Knight of Navy and a blending brush. Start over on your grid paper first so that you don't get any real hard, you know, drops like that. And Knight of Navy is a dark color, so you're, it's not gonna take a whole lot to fill this page. Okay. Look, I, I uh, colored my fingernail. Why is that wiggling? Stop wiggling. Do you guys talk to your, your things? Like, why are you wiggling? Why are you moving? Why won't you stick? I'm glad there's nobody home during the day. They'd be like, she's talking to her stamps again. All right, so just, you know, go round and around. I even like to go sideways sometimes up and down, get it all filled in. And then, look, now I have two little striped nails. Oh, <laughs> whoa, look at that, it's very messy. Um, take your dark um, Knight of Navy, let's move everything, your dark Knight of Navy Stampin' Blend and add some spots, some dots, some drips. And now let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! And see, it's not real dark. The navy ink is very dark. But when you do it like this, it, um, it isn't that dark. All right, so we've got that. Let me put this over here so it doesn't make a mess. Let me get a paper towel, wipe off my hands. because inevitably that's gonna get on some white paper. All right, we need the trimmer again. Again, the same size for, actually, yes, four, that's right, four by five and a fourth. We're gonna frame it with a piece of Knight of Navy. And I'm actually, I don't like that white edge on the edge like that. So I'm gonna cut that off. That's just me being picky. Um, four by five and a fourth, okay? So cute. And you know, you can do this with any color you want. Doesn't have to be navy, but I really do like the navy. 
Um, adhesive is right here. <laughs> um, a Knight of Navy mask. You talk to yourself too? Yeah, I know. <sighs> I do too. Okay, so there we've got that. And then we'll put it on a basic white thick card base. Yeah, you know what, Mary? Um, she says she keeps baby wipes with her. Um, I really should have had some baby wipes. I actually thought about that earlier because today's projects are messy for some reason. But I didn't do it. And you know what else? Um, hand sanitizer, too, will help take that off. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's do our little framed... Um, you know, framed pictures of our bathing suits. We're gonna do Daffodil Delight, Polished Pink, and that Parakeet Party. So we'll start with Parakeet Party. And we'll go right in the middle, like that. Okay, clean it. Then we need the stripes. That'll be Daffodil Delight. I like when a bathing suit um, ties like that, like a halter. I like bathing suits like that. Mm, that's crooked. Let's try it again. I think my Daffodil Delight ink pad needs to be re-inked. Mm, well, it's going to have to do. And then we'll do polished pink. This is my least favorite bathing suit of the four. Not that I don't like it, it's just not, it's my least favorite. <laughs> I think that, I don't know, the stripe is really cute. And then the one we use in the last project is really cute too. Okay, so I pulled in a different sentiment for this. Um, the sentiments in the stamp set are cute, but I don't know, wasn't feeling it. Make a splash, Hello Sunshine, which I really like Hello Sunshine. Um, anywhere with you is a paradise, wishing you were here. So you could use those if those work for you, but I thought let's do something different. I'm pulling in Charming Sentiments and we're gonna stamp it in Night of Navy. And I'm actually gonna stamp off so that it's lighter because it's very dark, wishing you everything wonderful so now it's more like the color on our on that piece that we did so the wonderful thing about this stamp set is it has those matching dies all these matching dies so just get it lined up you got to check every little corner because it's a very close cut on these it doesn't give you a whole lot of wiggle room and we'll put the plate there. And let's see how we did. Perfect. Very nice. And we're ready to put it all together. Um, I ahead of time cut out these two little hearts right here also. All right. And we're gonna put those on here. We're gonna use dimensionals. Of course. And I'm gonna start with the green bathing suit. And I'm gonna put it about, about one square down and one square over. Okay. And then we're gonna do this one. And this is about one square down from that one, but about, about one square over. And then this last one, I'm putting the dimensionals in the middle so that we can put it right there. Mm, that one maybe needs to go a little bit higher. You have to kind of play with it to see. When, you, when it works, your eye will know. There, mm, nope, a little bit more, a little bit more. Over like that, there, okay. And then we're gonna take this guy and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the left side only so that I can stick it to that thing right there, that one, all right? Now, I felt like, okay, we need a little something else. So I cut out these little 
uh, polished pink hearts. And why do I keep putting my dimensionals in places that I can't reach? We're gonna put one up here and we'll put one down here. I'm gonna lay it down and pick it up with my take your pick tool. Set that right there. And then we've got these awesome new iridescent pearls, which are beautiful, really pretty. Very different than our other pearls. And we'll put a few in each corner. And done. I didn't even use a bow. I didn't think it needed one. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's fun. And just think of them being framed on your wall. <laughs> um, Cindy, everything should be up on my um, blog. There's a PDF with all the supplies and the measurements. Jody, don't even tease me. It's snowing there. I'm so jealous. We have had 18 days in a row, I think, something like that, um, with upper 90s. And it's been awful. Awful, awful. Yes, <laughs> Nina, I did restock my dimensional supply. Yes. Never can run out. Never. That would be a tragedy. <laughs> okay, one more project, and it's definitely my favorite. I kept having this idea, and in next week, no, not next week, the week after, the first week of June, I'm going on a trip with friends, right? Going on like a girl's trip. And I've been planning something for them. Um, we're gonna like hang out at the pool in our bathing suits, and I've been trying to like plan something really cute for them. And I, it was gonna include little bottles of these, you know, pineapple rum, what's this one? key lime rum. And so I started kind of thinking, what could we do with the bathing suits? And this is what I came up with. Reminiscent to the boozy hot chocolate. You guys remember the boozy hot chocolate from several years ago? This is the, the boozy beach, what did I call it? The boozy beach gift caddy. <laughs> so it's got two little bottles of rum. These things right here, I have to tell you guys about these. I have been ordering these for a couple of years. I've only seen them on Amazon. I never see them in my store. Sugar-free pina colada mix. And it says you mix it with water, um, kind of like a lemonade packet, and then a shot of rum. And I take these to the lake, and they're really good. Except I use, like, something sparkling, um, like sparkling water or sparkling, I don't know, White Claw something. I think it's better when it's fizzy. But they're so good. So I linked them for you on Amazon. Um, they come like, you know, like a little packet of like the lemonade things. I just have never, ever seen them in the store. I happened to stumble upon them um, on Facebook one day. I mean, on Amazon one day. So anyways, that's what we're going to make. Okay. Okay. Now it's not, it's not real hard. It's very similar. If you ever made the boozy hot chocolate Thing. We're using the Artfully Layered stamp set as well. Another one that goes really, really well with this. I can't get the paper out, hold on. Um, the straws, I got, I think I got those like it. I don't know, Target, Michael, something a long time ago. But I did find them on Amazon too. If you need them, I linked them for you there. Okay, so let's make the holder first. All right, let me move all these pieces over here. Grab my Simply Scored, and let's look at the PDF. The measurements are right down here, okay? Right at the bottom of the second page. This is 10 by seven and three fourths. We're gonna score the long side at half an inch, two inches, four inches, and five and a half. And then turn it and score it at one and a half and six and a fourth. All right, and then grab your bone folder and let's burnish all those lines. Whoa. And then um, you're gonna need circles. And I have found that a one inch circle and a one and three eighths inch circle work best. I pulled out my circle punches because it's easier, especially when I'm making a video. Um, we don't sell them anymore. 
I'm assuming you guys have circle punches or circle dies. Our lay layering circle dies will work just as well. Okay, so let's do some trimming. Pretend like I didn't tear that right there. It's not gonna matter, it'll be fine. It's gonna be tucked in, you're not gonna see it. Um, here on this half inch side, we're gonna cut off the two corners. And when you do, make that angled right there, that tab, okay? Like that. Now, all you need to do is cut each score line. On both long sides. Now there are clean recordings of all three videos. So if you need to come back and watch one, you can find them on YouTube. All right, so now we need our circles. And instead of, and I've learned this lesson the hard way, instead of just going in all like, I'm just gonna start punching my circles, no, I'm gonna make a template <laughs> first because believe me, I can never get them in the right place. So, and I need to look, I like the straws on the right side. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, the little one inch circle right here. And this is just, I just punched them out of scrap paper so that I will know where to punch them on here, okay? So these two are one and three eighths, the little bottles. And you guys always ask me about the bottles. They're just from the liquor store. I don't know, you know, the little like individual size. They don't come in different sizes. They come in that and then like a big bottle. <laughs> okay, so here's the one and three eighths. So then I'll just frame that and punch. And I don't know if I would, I really like those bottles of rum because they're cute. I like the colors. But I haven't tasted those, so I'm not, I can't speak to their flavors. I have bought them, and I've had them for a while. I bought them because they're so cute. I'm sure they're good. I mean, you know. But I, I don't know for sure. I can't, I can't say. But I can tell you the pina colada mix is really good. All right, so now we're going to start by putting our adhesive right here on that tab that I tore on accident. And if you fold this in half like this, fold it over, lay it down, it'll come up exactly where it needs to be, square, okay? Now fold in the sides, and we're gonna fold in the back, the big side, the big back tab, fold that in first, okay? Push those together. Has anybody tried those two? The, the key lime and the, what was the other one? Pineapple, rum, cream. I don't know, the word cream kind of throws me off. And then fold that over like that. I bet there are recipes. Um, Carla, that would be my go, that would be my go-to. Malibu would be mine. Yeah, that would, whoops, no, I don't need to put on there. Malibu would definitely be my choice. But these are pretty colors. <laughs> I mean, it's rum, right? All right, so put these like that and wrap it around. So I wanted the front tabs to come around last so that we have those rounded edges. And then take your scissors and cut from that front corner to the back corner. Like that. And there's your holder, all right? Really, I, I think it's pretty easy. Now we're using the, I can never remember the name of this paper, Artfully Composed. I don't know, that's, you guys know how I feel about these names. Artfully Composed is the paper. And it's from the spring catalog. So it's getting ready to retire. I'm gonna put it here on the front, this piece. Those measurements are there also on the PDF, the DSP. And then we'll put this one in the back, like that. Okay, and then we just put our bottles of rum and our pina colada mix in those little holes like that. All right, and now we'll decorate it with some stamps. Um, I am using, again, I'm using the artfully layered stamp set. It's not carrying over, so it's gonna be leaving us pretty soon. And I'm gonna stamp this one. Thanks, Brandy. I know, everybody seemed to like the boozy gifts. 
you know, there's an audience for it for sure. Um, I'll be making these and taking them with me too, probably on my trip. This big one is going to go on in um, pale papaya. All right. Um, we're going to color this in. There was a lot of different things you can do with this leaf, but I just decided to color it in. I stamped it in pale papaya, but I'm going to color it in um, old olive. We don't have, what did I just say, pale papaya? Pear pizzazz. I stamped it in pear pizzazz, which is like a lighter old olive. And I'm just gonna use the light old olive to color it in and we'll use the dark here in a second to add some variety. But I have a question for you guys. All of my friends that live in Minnesota, I know there's a lot of you that live up in, in the north in Minnesota. What's the weather like today in northern Minnesota? Because my daughter, my oldest, is up there. She's doing a hike, a 10 day hike slash canoe trip through the boundary waters and she's off the grid. So I have no contact with her, but I know where she is. And I've been looking yesterday. It was like raining, raining, raining and 42. They're doing seven miles a day and I cannot stop worrying about her. She's with professionals. It's part of, it's a school. It's actually a leadership course through their outdoor um, rec department. She gets credit for it. She's with a professor, but still, I am so worried about her. I cannot imagine being in rainy, 42 degree weather for days on end, walking, hiking seven miles. My husband keeps rolling his eyes every time I bring it up, but I cannot stop worrying about her. She was so excited about it, but she was worried about being cold. Obviously they went prepared. They had all their cold weather gear, but still. And 42 maybe up there to you guys isn't that cold. But down here, it's been like 100 for 18 days. <laughs> so to us, it's very cold. Um, would it be wrong to make these as a year-end teacher gift? My answer is absolutely not. That is a perfect gift. And that is what the teachers want. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> You'd have to sneak it in or like leave it on the hood of their car. <laughs> I, as a teacher, had te uh, parents that would bring me like bottles of wine and it would have to be like super covert, you know, like wrapped in a trash bag, <laughs> hidden in the kid's backpack. No, I think that that's an excellent idea, Brandy. All right, so my Minnesota people, would it, <laughs> yeah, Cindy says it depends on your child. <laughs> um, Jennifer, your husband did the boundary waters not for you. I know, me too, I'm the same. Jennifer says 42 in Minnesota is shorts weather. Okay, Jennifer, to Minnesotians, yes. But to South Texans, that's like the dead of winter. <laughs> I, You know what? The 42 isn't what bothers me. It's the rain. The rain and 42. And it's not like they went for a hike and they go back to a cabin. They're out like in the elements. They are carrying everything they have with them for the next 10 days. <sighs> you know, I'm a mom. I'm worried about her. She was like, it's going to be fine the whole time. But still, it's cold, Pam, but she'll be fine, you think? She even said she was worried about the cold at night. She says when they're hiking, they'll be warm, you know, moving around. But if you're soaking wet, I mean, you know how miserable it is when your clothes are wet? Your feet are wet. Seven miles a day. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, definitely not for me. I agree with you guys. Definitely not. She, yeah, she's 19. I don't know. She lives for this stuff. Yeah, Mary, I would freeze too. I would just, uh, all I can imagine is her just crying. <laughs> like walking and crying. She probably isn't. She's a tough cookie. She likes all that stuff, but I still worry. I'm still worried. I just, when I saw the radar, I looked on the radar to see what the weather was like. I almost panicked because it was like, like a deluge, like everywhere. And it's been like that for several days. So if any of you are in the Boundary Water area, could you please go out and check on her? <laughs> Corrine, I don't know if she took Gore-Tex rain gear. I know that 
the school provided like their um their like heavy coats and you know because down here we don't have that stuff they and their sleeping bags and their backpacks and stuff she did take some we bought some warm weather gear but not i don't know about the the waterproof i don't think we ever considered that i mean maybe she did i don't know i kept telling her oh it's not gonna be that cold it's may it's fine and then i'm 42 i know when you guys are laughing up north ha ha 42 but it's cold one thing i want to do to this let me get this is i want to flick some ink on it so we're gonna do old olive dark okay I love doing that. I, have, I always do that on all my projects, it feels like. Okay. <clears throat> We're almost there. I have this Mossy Meadow Palm Frond. I don't know what you call it. Branch um, that I cut out. Same dies. We've got that. We've got that. The bathing suit and stays on. We've got a heart in um, the DSP from the Give It A World dies. And FYI, the color in this paper that looks like Bermuda Bay. Maybe it, it said just jade. I so, But I'm using Bermuda Bay because just jade is gone. It's retired. So what stamp did I use? Anywhere with you is paradise. That's a good one, right? For a girl's trip. That's fun. All right. Bermuda Bay. When you are young, you don't feel the cold. She'll be fine. You're probably right, Peggy, because I used to not feel the hot, the heat when I was younger, because I've lived here pretty much my whole life. And I used to, the heat used to not bother me at all. And now I can't stand the heat. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> so maybe it's the same with cold. I hope you're right. She's probably, when I finally hear from her, she's going to be like, you're ridiculous. I can't believe you were talking about it on your Facebook Live. Why were you worried? Someday she'll understand. When you're a mom, that's what you do. All right, so we're just going to kind of layer those like that. And then grab your dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? Right here. This, I stamped the sentiment on a stitched banner, basic white stitched banner. This is from the new <clears throat> Stylish Shape dies. Stylish Shapes. Um, I like the bathing suit in black. That was kind of fun. A little different than the bright colors. And last but not least, we're going to take that heart and tuck it in. Um, Denise, we're doing a um, Utah trip. And it's a, like a retreat, my friend... Um, Rhonda has planned and it's, I can't wait. It's, it's not connected with Stampin' Up, but it's kind of a Stampin' Up thing. It's gonna be great. Um, we're all very excited. Although I, you know, going out of town sometimes is more work than it's worth. That's kind of at the, the point that I'm at right now. This time next week, I'll feel differently, hopefully, when I have gotten everything done that needs to get done. Um, by the way, those of you that ordered paper and ribbon shares, Monday, I hope to finish that up and get them out Tuesday or Wednesday. That's one of the things on my list. Um, so it'll be coming. You, I can't wait to show you guys what we did with the ribbon. Denise did something really cool with the ribbon this year. You're going to love it. It's going to be a surprise. Okay, and so your two straws, the old olive. Um, this old olive ribbon comes in a two-pack. It's got... I think Sahara Sand is the other color. And you just tie them together. And there you go. A nice little boozy party favor, right? Little beach, beach treat. I don't know. I just think these are so cute. And teacher gift. <laughs> you know, teachers would love it. I'm telling you. And uh, like Brandy said, depends, or maybe it was Cindy. Depends on who uh, your child. I saw somebody gave, um, had cookies made for their kid's teacher. And um, one of the cookies, what did it say? Um, sorry for my kid or something like that. It was really funny. It made me laugh. But, you know, you know what your kids like. We all do. Okay, so we made three things today. Um, and these are the three projects you'll get. 
You'll get one of each if you put in your order by Monday at midnight. Anything you want, you can order. Just make sure it's over $35, it uses a host code. If your order is over $150, don't use a host code. You'll get free Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, and I'll still send you the make and takes. Um, if you're looking for more ideas, I had this project yesterday, and then I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of Monday's project. It's also a gift item. Um, it has a little aloe vera and a little banana boat sunscreen, and it would make a great party favor too. Those two together would be really cute. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me. Next week, I think we're gonna do potted geraniums. I have that on tap, pulled it out. Hopefully I can get it planned by <laughs> next week. You guys are wonderful today. Thank you so much. I will talk to you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.